Hello, my name is Larry Casso. <clears throat> I'd like to welcome you once again to my studio. It's uh, Thursday evening, uh, October 26th, and we're in a situation where I'd like to uh, do a demonstration for the class on, with a watercolor technique that's going to be relatively loose and uh, somewhat different than the, the normal style. And one of the reasons uh, I want to do this is because of the fact that uh, I've never tr quite tried anything like this. And uh, I'd, re I'd really like to study the effects of, of doing it wet on wet. And another reason, I'm experimenting with another technique on canvas board with pastels that's very tight. And I thought it would be a lot of fun while I'm experimenting with some really tight portrait scenes uh, that when I finish this one on canvas board and spray it and varnish it, it's going to look like an oil. I'd like to simultaneously be doing one of one of my favorite people, he's now deceased, uh, Mr. Perry Labette. And uh, so we're going to, uh, I've done several portraits of him before, but he was quite an interesting character and that's one of the things I love about doing people. I got to know Perry very well. We spent several hours. He was literally a hermit, but he was a man that in his own way that had a lot of dignity, a lot of class, and um, overcame a lot of obstacles in life to, uh, to survive and to, to just exist. And though his latter years to most people would have been lived uh, in utter poverty compared to the average person, as far as Perry was concerned, uh, as far as Perry was concerned, he was, uh, he, Perry was very happy. Uh, he didn't really care too much about what other people thought about him. And uh, so anyhow, this is what our workshop is going to be on tonight. And uh, I'm going to quickly sketch this out for you. And we'll continue with that in just a moment. Okay, we're going to return our, to our picture of Perry, and we're just going to have a quick layout here. I'd like you just to see a couple of things on the layout that are going to make me approach this one a little bit differently. It's a very odd angle. I love the way the shadows come across there and everything. But I want you to notice that we, we see almost a perfect square. If, if you drew a line like this and across here, and up and even where that shadow breaks and pick up the perspective you almost perfectly pick up what we're trying to pick up with it. Now what's unique about this angle and the reason I'm going to draw it in pastel is that when you go up to a certain point his head is right on the horizon and so when we do the eyes you're going to see a perspective angle going like this when you come up a little bit higher the perspective is going to tend to want to go down a little bit more like this and then you're going to see another angle here and then there'll be another angle that you'll see up here and I want to try to capture that chisel like effect or box like effect of his face so we're just going to draw this very lightly and uh, go ahead and see how this works out and we're pr primarily going to do his face so uh, and of course it doesn't have to be perfect but we're going to just come across like this and like this, bring it down like this, and then uh, let's let's come with our center line like this, roughly, and uh, and then we we want now actually I'm hitting if I hit the top of his skull if I projected that out that would be about like this. Okay, now the reason this is important is because uh, this is the line, I want this to be the top of the skull, and this would be the line that actually begins to go back, and this would slightly be above it. If any of you remember the, the portrait course, the divisions are one-third, 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 this being the eyebrows, the crest where the skull begins to go back, and then this would be the end of the nose. So we're going to, see, as I'm looking at it now, I'm beginning to get a little bit more perspective like this, and I'm getting a little bit more perspective like this. 
you see, and uh, that may make me want to change the perspective that I have down here because even though this is just a, uh, a rough sketch and, and we're just looking at just the face here, there really is quite an angle to, to the actual perspective on it. Now, when we look at this part of it here, I'm looking at the face, uh, I'm seeing that this angle that I've got growing, going in right here, no, that would be about right. That's going to be close enough for what we want, okay? Now, this is the part that I'm really interested in, was, is to be able to come back like this and pick up this perspective, and then, and then as we come out to here with the nose, I want to pick up this perspective and it's going to become a little bit more severe, and then it's going to be a little bit more severe down here. Okay, and don't ask me why, but I just feel like this pretty well picks up what we want a little bit more. And then this, of course, is going to start coming down. And it's going to put, it's actually going to put the horizon, this should almost be straight. That's the, that's the part that I'm trying to, so we've got a little bit of tilt. That's the part I'm trying to really get in here correctly. And uh, I think I'm getting a little too fussy with this part of it, so let's just forget it and come across here. I think this is going to really be a little more correct like this. Okay, and then of course we'll put some guess symmetric on where the side of the head is like this. And I think that's pretty well going to take care of it. Now, first thing I want to do now is I want to come down. He's got a really large nose. So we're going to really accent that because I think that's a pretty interesting part of his feature. Of his features, I should say. Okay, and that's going to come around like that, like this. Now, a lot of these features... Um, I always remember the little guideline. That's coming over a little bit too far, I think. I'm going to bring it back in a little bit more like this. And so we know that the eyes are going to come somewhere back in here, and they're going to always start like roughly at the end of the nostril like that. Now, he's got some very interesting characteristics, is that, and that I'm almost seeing his eyebrows come across here like this, and then you're barely picking up a little bit of his eye. So I'm only going to block went over a little bit too far with that, okay. Making his eyes way too big. So we're going to kind of come up, and then this is where this should be, and, and we really only have a small area right here for the eye, and then it kind of comes up like that. The rest is in shadow, and I'm going to pick those shadows up. And then we have to imagine about where the nostril would be back here, and again, the eye really is uh, kind of lifted up here. We're not really seeing too much definition. And we're going to come back like this and then maybe do the same thing right here and uh, not really even show any definition. I'm going to fill that all in with watercolor, so I'm not really that worried about it. Okay, now, then I'll come across here, and of course there's no lips to worry about. I'm going to kind of indicate where his lips are because it's just good to have information like that down there. Okay, I should be on the screen. Finally, put me a little marker here. Okay. Now, let's come across, let's just swing this around here, bring this down. Now, what I like more than anything else is the way that the shadow comes down on his head. Mm -hmm. And I find it to be That's very interesting. Right there, it's just a definite plane, Joe, and mm -hmm. I think it's a very strong characteristic of this man. And then, of course, when we come on this side over here, we're going to have our regular thing where it's going to come back like this. Then it's going to come up. Now, notice we're going to go back up to the top of the skull round it around like this. We're going to come back off the back of the box like this because this is all just a guideline. And then of course you don't have any trouble making a likeness on this guy with the beard like he had. So we're going to get that and then we're going to have this. forehead and his nose right. You got it. Yeah. You got it. You, you, you no just captured the animation, man. That's right. Kind of beginning to look like Michelangelo a little bit. Huh? Well, he's got a very significant forehead. Yeah. Oh, he does, man. That's right, and I'm not sure that I got it already, but that's okay. I'm gonna, I'll play with it. Now I'm gonna start erasing some of this. Okay, and then get this out of the way. Now what's so fun about this though is there's quite a bit of space in here, and this is gonna tell us exactly where to put the ears. Very interesting gentleman. We, uh, I went over there with one of my students, Gail Connect, and it was her cousin, and. She kind of looked over him. He, he'd just been a hermit his entire life, and I don't think he had electricity. I, I don't. It's just a long story behind all of it. But he he just 
lived a very isolated life and uh, not the best section of town to live in and whatever, but... Uh, and the old boards kind of match him. You know, that's really true. I was wondering whether or not to put them in there. I don't know. I think you're right. They look like they're about as old as he is. And see here, I, I really, I purposely don't really care too much about... Probably not as old as I am. About, uh, no comment. <laughs> I, I'm not. Look, look at that when you come back down here like this. Well, we all should be so lucky to be as healthy as you are. Taking shape. Isn't that amazing when you start? And then again, you know, we don't. You, you can't miss it. Okay. Then we're going to come out like this a little bit, swing it on down. And that comes in a little closer to the nose. See, and that starts giving his face a little bit more thinness. And then we're going to have that shadow coming down here like that. And then this is all just going to be a, a, just a general outline of things. Oh, look at how it is really beginning to it come is, together. Yeah, I'm looking at the TV. I mean, it is there. I'm just amazed. And then, and then I love, like, look look at the way that this mm -hmm. cluster of hair. You can see his skull back there. Cause exactly. Have much hair. Almost, right, but we're going to put those little whispers whatever you call them, coming up there like that. I don't know if you call a man whispers or not, but... Wisps. Wisp, wisp wisps, wisps, wisps. Maybe. Wisp. <laughs> okay, I think that's, I think that's close them. enough to do it. I let them grow out. Uh, now, I might do this, solder around that back a little bit more like this. You know, it's a, the big thing, I think, is to show that skull all the way mm -hmm. back. And I think that's close enough. Uh, now, some of this is going to come up a little higher. We really, we really want this to be very forceful, and of course it comes out here. Now, he's got these shadows that come across the bottom. I think I'm going to go ahead and include them, and I, I like this. I like the way that dark right here really comes up, and the shadows here, and then we kind of let this follow some of this stuff here. And then fade out the shadows down at the bottom, but not have them quite yeah, as dark. dark is an interesting shape. In fact, it comes on into his head. Yeah, that's what I was. That's and what I was really, really kind of intrigued with, really Joe. Really interesting uh, geometric, not geometric, uh, abstract shape. Mm -hmm. Well, it gives you, and what I like, it just gives you a good linkage. And of mm -hmm. course, everything that we got in here also does the same thing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that, I'm not really going to put a lot of information. In. And with his hat off, it really did show. Now he's got, you know, it looks like it starts off like it'd be a pretty wide face, but he's got a pretty thin face. Yeah. Now, yeah. I know I've got to bring that nose over a little bit more because the nose goes a little bit more to the, to closer to the skin. So we're going to kind of come around like that, and I might even be bring it in a tiny bit here. But again, that's one of those things that you just can kind of make your adjustments on later. So uh, I'm not bad for a five-minute sketch. I just, mm -hmm. I want to be, when I get set up, I want to be ready to paint in a little bit. You some water kind of paper? Mm-hmm, 140 pounds. Yeah, okay. Okay, now I'm going to bring this in. I, I know what it is, too. I need to bring this out just a little bit more. Now, I may not like this at all when I start doing it, but I think I'm getting close enough I with it. Now, what I'm really trying to maintain here, I'm going to get that edge coming down, is that he's got this coming across, and it's not really that, that thick. And kind of comes and see how close yeah, this comes, comes right to the. On, almost parallel and I with think his that nose. was that yeah. was important to get that. I guess that's a nostril over there, right there. Is that a nostril? Uh, I don't know what the heck that is? Maybe that's his skin. Joe, I think that's, that's his skin. That's yeah, his skin, and that's, that's the glasses throwing a shadow, glasses, shadow. Don't want shadow yeah, down that's there. The glass, right? that's yeah, exactly that's his right. nose back there. And you know those glasses are going to be a big, a very big characteristic mm -hmm. of him too. Mm -hmm. And okay. we'll do this and maybe come down. I like that maybe a little bit lower. Lose all of our lines in here. And then a lot of this now I'm going to have to just do because this is kind of what I'm going to use as my guideline. Mm. Mm. So we're going to try to do better than that. We're going to learn from him. Yeah. And he's got one plane, looks right, right in here. Yeah, and that's important. Now, we, we need to pick that up. A lot of that I'm going to save for the painting. Yeah, well, you can do that. But I more. still, no, you're right, Joe. It, it's just nice to this. <laughs> we kind of want to bring it a little bit more like this. And then when I I come up with that head, and it's going to do this, and then I think it's going to start making that round like that. It's got a little bit more sloop to it. Sloop. But we can also make the uh, adjustments we need to make on that a little bit later on. It looks wonderful, on TV. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Well, that, that, with these kind of things, the fun is just going in and doing mm -hmm. it with the watercolor. Mm -hmm. 
and then this is almost going to be scared. completely dark. That's right. Okay, now we want to come in, and I like the way you pick up things. You know, you just look for those few little highlights where that's coming. Those glasses are coming in above. Or and, up underneath that hair, I should say. such interesting shadows. Right. It really does. Mm. And then we've got this little square right here, right by the corner of that eye. And these, these are the kind of things to me that, again, that I think really are important too. And then we're going to come all the way out here, pick up that frame coming around like this, pick up the inside of this the area here, and then we'll come in. Not show too much here. I don't think he's got it probably that a little. Because those shadows, I think, are going to be really interesting mm -hmm. when we start pulling those up. Mm -hmm. And I see how kind of develop like a little square area, bring that across, bring it around like this. Mm -hmm. and I think we're pretty close mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you later on you pick up that shadow, and then, you, like you said, the little shadow right under here, Joe. And, and he's got a little shadow on his nose. I think that's what that is there. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think we're going to be pretty close. And then a little bit of eyebrow here. I'll just put in. Got that, that little, little dark area in the corner there. That's the shadow from the glass. I think that's pretty much all we need. And I think the rest of it, we'll mm -hmm. just have to kind of do the old picking and grinning. And then, mm -hmm. and then you can see that. Look at how that hair very definitely comes all the way out here. And we'll be able to do it and then put a lot of other extra things. But I think that shadow mm -hmm. here and the shadow back up in here. And then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm with you, Joe. I think I think just because it's there and it's interesting, we maybe do a little bit of this. I think you can lose this, this area right here and this area right here. And just fade it out. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And, uh, and let's come back in and figure about that jacket's going to come in right about here somewhere. And we'll do that. Okay, and then it's gonna, this is going to kind of be low. And I'm going to vignette it, let it kind of fade mm -hmm. out to the dark down here. And then have it coming down. The jacket coming around like this. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Well, thank you, man. Can't wait to see that thing in work. Water coming. Okay. Okay, so I'll just fade the darks and let all that run out. Mm -hmm. And I think that's close enough. Oh, I do. Go up a little bit higher with it. Now, see, I look, when I look at it like this, mm -hmm. you see when I get it on here, it's hard to really tell, but it looks like, like this maybe should come a little bit shorter here and let this just be hair back here. And it, it, it's really kind of funny because his head almost comes to a point mm -hmm. back okay. there. And, yeah. I, and I think that that, that that elevation is necessary to capture a little bit more length that I want to get in the top of his skull. But see, to me, I don't really care about the light, so it's all close enough. Yeah. Feel like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. A bit more other stuff set up. We'll just pause for now. We'll be ready to paint at 9.15. Oh. Well, we're going to go ahead and continue with our watercolor now. And of course, we're going to also use the uh, basic five colors that I use in the watercolor palette. And uh, I like this very much from the standpoint that it had a lot of uh, direct sunlight coming in on it. And uh, as a result of that, we got a pretty good feeling of a chiaroscuro effect meaning light and dark relationship drop that down just a little bit so we're going to go ahead and begin the watercolor now again this is kind of uncharted territory it's going to be very loose and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it okay the first thing i want to do is we're using our thank you joe we're we using our basic palette again it's going to be our five color palette and it's going to be uh Oh, cadmium red light, cadmium yellow light, ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, and hookers green. We're using the M. Graham watercolors, some gouache mixed in with it. Then we have white, <coughs> excuse me, black, and uh, alizarin crimson. Now, I find that uh, 
this cadmium red, the yellow, burnt sienna make a pretty nice flesh tone. So we're just going to try a little bit of it here. See if we can really just take off literally like a scalded dog and get going on this thing. Now, I think I'd like it a little bit more with just the sienna and the red. Let's try that. And maybe try a little bit. Let's see what the crimson does. I'm getting a little orange in there I wasn't too crazy about. Good flesh tone. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be the crimson, ultramarine blue, uh, crimson, a little bit of uh, burnt sienna. And uh, did I use cadmium yellow? I think I used a little bit of cadmium yellow in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not that bad. Do Not this patch at all? Mm -hmm. That's well, looking good. That's what turned it on. That still look, it? That looks good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, I can see. Okay. Now, thank you for that extra thing of water. Yeah, that's going to really help me. Okay. Now, we're going to just start right here. And we want to allow for... The, oh, yeah. That's a pretty, that's pretty, pretty flesh mm -hmm. tone, right? Nice. Now, we're just going to come right on down. Right on across here like this. And... Uh, I'm going to leave these little light areas in his face there. And then I'm going to clean off my brush, take just plain water, and we're going to come around like this, okay? Now, the first thing I want to do, why not just go ahead and have a little drama in our life? Today? Drama! So we're going to go some ultramarine blue, and uh, we're going to put a little bit of a lizard crimson mix with it. And then we're going to a little bit of burnt sienna. And... Uh, Okay, and we're just gonna go ahead and hit it. Right. Joe, don't don't close your eyes now. <laughs> he had to see how that was gonna pop out. Yeah, I did. He did, he and he did. He couldn't too. stand it. It did. Too. Now we're gonna go ahead and continue this all the way around here like yeah, this. You put those wisp bats in a little yeah. bit. Oh yeah. Sure. Get them back, yeah. And we're, we're gonna do some out while it's still wet. Oh, that is just wonderful. Mm. Oh, that isn't that pretty? Uh -huh. that, now that's scumbling, isn't it? When you do that? Uh, that's well, it's actually nervousness to oh. me right now because I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> again, as always. He's afraid I'm right. No, he, he's, you know, I don't think he is, Joe. I think oh, I'm not a way, I, I don't mind anybody nice being right. I'm uh -huh. not. Actually, oh, scumbling fine. might be with the dryer brush, I guess. Well, I, I don't, you know, I know the word, and I, I guess I would use it to describe things. Uh, I would say right off the bat, it's really more ethereal to me. Oh, ethereal? Ethereal. Okay. Well, you know, we love ethereal. Well, we sure do. Boy, I got a new one I learned the other night. Just forgot to write it down. Ethereal. Oh, I couldn't spell it. Oh, but, yeah. man, that when I use that, it's like, oh, my God. Well, that's the right word. I think it's ethereal. Yeah, you know, that's the right word. Yeah, you know, that's the right word. Yeah, Nobody's going to say a word. Nobody's going to say anything, man. Okay, now let's, uh, let's, while this is a little wet now, let's see what's going to happen on this. Uh, we got to just go in with a little black in there to make sure we get the gray we want. I could have backed off a little bit right there up against there, but I wasn't going to do it. I just decided that's what I want to do. We don't back off. That's right. This is the No Fear Art Academy. Mm -hmm. All we got to do is just, whoop, we want that yellow, but maybe we do. Not to worry about it. We're going to take a little bit of that with the blue. Whoop. Okay, we need to put that yellow in a Man, different spot. Man, I'll tell you what, we've got, to, we've got to do something. Now, see, this, this is going to be kind of fun to come in while uh -huh. it's wet. Mm -hmm. is it, am, I, am I right on the screen? You need to uh -huh. lay back a little bit. Pretty there you nice. go. That's perfect. We'll have those kind of dark wow, areas nice there. Then. All the way. I mean, it's that's a good place beginning. for uh, for um, uh, pastel. You can come back and do mm -hmm. pastel too if you want to. Look at that. Well, you could do it well, perfect the first time pastel. around and why come back. <laughs> Is that, well, see, I want to experiment with that wet on wet. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. And I'm satisfied yeah, yeah. with what it did. And then we're going to come on through here like this and mm -hmm. just continue the same value. Are we going to have drama in this painting? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure.
be good if you take medicine. It'd be good to take it before you come here. Yeah, take it right now. When we're doing this, man. Yeah. I can't see what that. That'll be okay. It's okay. For right now. Sure. I'm getting a little bit of glare on it. Let's see if I can kill two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. Lift this up again. I can see it a little bit better and not have as much glare. But that's okay. We don't want to get too hung up on any one area like that. Okay, now. I've let some of this reddish color dry on me, but that's good because the next thing I want to do now it's going to be a little bit thicker and I want to start my first layer of the dark mm -hmm. uh, darker section I want to put in there. We're going to come down like this and like this and again I, I love being able to come in and do things like this clean that brush and then let those light areas shine mm -hmm. through like that see mm -hmm. and then we're going to also soften this a little bit and then start dragging some of this out here where we're going to have some of this a little bit darker like this and uh, start putting a little bit of an indentation in some of these areas y'all were talking about earlier with it okay and then now we're just going to come on back around here and lose our mind I guess we have gone ahead and come on and do it Right on down. Uh, Joe, did you take your medicine? No, uh, I didn't take it up. Should have taken four tablets. Okay, now we're gonna get a little bit of let's get the ultramarine blue. And this. And I want to start hitting some of those last areas in there that we know are going to be kind of dark. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like the way you just kind of have this molded looking area yeah. over here. Mm -hmm. And then we definitely want to have a little bit of that darker section. And I'm going to just go with straight burnt sienna right here. We're just going to go right on up. And. Uh, that go disappear kind of into his head. Mm. And I just bring that down. Mm -hmm. Now he's got a little bit more. Uh, I might have gone over a little too far with some of this stuff right here. So what we're going to do, it's no big shame. deal. We'll just come in and lift some of this a little bit. Mm -hmm. that's, that's oh, yeah, nice I did it. I see I picked up that little. I see, I look at the little white spots mm -hmm. on his head in that photograph there. That's, That's nice. just really interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I, I can live with that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start, and we're just going to come right on around. And let's just go ahead and do that whole background area while we're doing this. Mm -hmm. Since that's just going to be hair back there. And uh, I'm going to kind of walk, walk it around. Uh, does that work okay? Yeah. That's so great. I got me a little measurement on there this time. Uh -huh. You see that little tape down there in the corner? He knows right where he is. Nice to know where you are. That's handy. Oh, we're getting scientific in oh, here. Oh man, look. You got to with this bunch. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh man, I just love. I do too. I love, you know, just, yeah. oh, so we'll come around here and I have just it. couldn't stand it here. You know what that's doing at the cool background? And the warm colors, he is coming forward is tremendously. He really? uh, yes. I don't know what he's doing. You know, yes, when I, get so to, I just get to exactly doing what it's doing. Stuff, and, and that's what that's kind of what you hope for. That. You know? Now that's good. That looks you like think some so? of his little oh, hairs up there. All right. Nice well, I'm gonna leave it. I, I kind of, I, have to, I was trying to break that line up, but okay, I, I'm satisfied with that. Now, as we fade this on out down here. I feel like with all due respect to, to cabin red light, we've got to put a little bit of mm -hmm. it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
can't do a painting without no, that red in there. Mm -hmm. Well, it would Slap be boring it if you didn't have that red. It would be what? Boring. It, it oh. warms it up and it just pops yeah. it out. That's right. I think so. And it's a, it's a warm red, see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't get carried away. Very painterly. Well, that's what, you know, if you look at what I'm looking at over there, that's what it's really all about. Yeah, and yours is quite Put that baby right there. <laughs> that's a very good description. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to have a little bit more of this kind of up here where it's slightly darker. And, of course, we're going to lose a lot, a lot of that in there, so I don't want to fuss over it too much. But that's, you know, in other words, that's, I, I want to really emphasize the curve of the skull and let, and let allowing that to be pr really totally wide over there. Okay, now you know he's got some situations here that, that uh, I find very interesting. Let's get in there with a little bit of that ultramarine blue, burn umber, and uh, a little bit of that black. And I think... I'd feel much better if we came in and wet this down. Some of that area over there almost looks like it's uh, uh, ultra, uh, burn umber and uh, in red. Mm -hmm. Sure does. Some, some of the now, what you kind of show is still a little lighter. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of come off here. Got a little bit too much brown in it. It is flying on this one. It might look like it too, but it's all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you see we've got a lot of the hairs coming down, mm -hmm. and I want to kind of show that if possible. And then notice that as you come around up here, he's got some of these really dark sections. I see this will be, this will, this will explain this a little bit more after I do something like this, you see. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to kind of give the general swirl, and even and, and there's places like this where you you lose the definition of the hair, and the, and the other, and that's what that's another thing I want to try to pick up on it. And then up, when you get up in this section up in here, we're just going to get a lot of. Frou frou looking areas that really are not well defined. And this is kind of what I really love to do a lot now in all my painting because then we're going to get sections that we want to lose that edge. Come back here. And let's, let, let's let a little bit of that purple just mm -hmm. blend right oh, on in there. So I love that. Get rid of that too at the same time. Mm -hmm. Remember, folks, you don't have to be crazy to do this. Yeah. It helps. I don't think it's been for a while. Ever. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, now, if I can get the right mixture here, well, we can begin to come back. The big thing is to do it without overdoing it. Because uh, like for instance right here, if you can get that little bit of this while it's wet. It mm -hmm. doesn't have to be that descriptive. But see what I'm saying? You can really see the waves, mm -hmm. just a suggestion. And then across here like this, and then pick up a little bit right here. I wish I had a good model close by with some hair. <laughs> we have to work with what we have. Let's see if we can't arrange it. 
Well, I had a yeah. hair piece, and he let it go. Let the, let the mall tease it up. It's a Jamaica job. Me and Joe, I don't, I don't know what they made that stuff out of, but I tell you what, that's, that, has, that has started to grow, man. It did last that long, man. It, it really nervous me. <laughs> well, you wouldn't want, you know, sitting in on a class or something. <laughs> well, that's, that's a fact. And I, and I never worried about any it bugs or anything, because there's nothing to eat it. <laughs> no, that's for sure. I mean, there's no telling what those Jamaicans made that stuff no, from. Absolutely no telling. <laughs> I don't want to get too fussy in here. Okay, lean back. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, and I see, again, this is a kind of an odd area, so we're going we're gonna to just leave it and uh, let it settle down a little bit and put some more detail on it. Uh, do whatever I want to do in it. And the main thing is just hard to come in and just start really loosening up on it like you need to do. We're going to do that. And just go in on to the next part of it. I like some of that lighter stuff that came through, but I need some of that darker sections. Some of the darker sections in there. Does that reproduce all right on the uh -huh. screen? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we'll just come on around here, get a little bit more of that white in here, and then this is going to be what's going to kind of help us in here. It, it would, if we can pick up some of these, this definition without, and let it just run and do its thing. That looks great. You see? Mm -hmm. That looks just great. And, and the thing is, it's like, forget it's a person. Mm -hmm. You just got to come in and do your thing, and uh, so we got a little bit of this coming around like this. And you got to get the whole thing, you can't be afraid to just get the whole thing covered, you know, and, and not, not worry about it. I mean, if it doesn't work, it just doesn't work. But, uh, but at very few times, I think that it won't if you just mm -hmm. have a good idea and a plan mm -hmm. and this kind of thing. Now, no, I definitely don't want, uh, I don't want. Actually, on the TV, that looks great. Look. You think it looks okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, well, sure. again, you don't know how far to go, so you just do it and uh -huh. go to the next thing. That's well, all. This man by far has got the wackiest hair, do you remember? Uh -huh. There we go. Yeah, see where it's a little bit. Got to tie it together. Yeah, uh -huh. I think that'll tone it down a little bit. Uh -huh. And then maybe coming up here, we'll even put a little bit of it. Not making it quite so. There you go. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to work I, I on that. Yeah. Okay. That. Now let's go and take our number four brush. Now I don't want to waste too much time. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down the whole side of that face because see it's all it's almost white. You just got to remember just almost leave that face white. So before I do anything else, let's take a little bit more of this color. I'm going to put some more burnt sienna in it. I'm okay. Look, part of what I'm looking yeah. at. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we want to get this. We want to start getting some of these darker flesh tones in here, and then come down the side of that nose. And I'm just worried about value now. The color, you know, it's really irrelevant to me. I just know that this part has got to start being being emphasized. And I'm just looking at areas like there's a little triangle here, and then. That, and then right up under here, there's there's little areas like this that we can start picking up, and then you really do see some of the real bright white. So we're going to leave it, and then we'll bring it on around here. And see now, if you can ever do this successfully, this is when you start to begin to begin to win on this thing, okay? And that is, you just have to get it to a point that you start getting it really abstract and not worry about it, and then just. See, like I'm beginning to really like this part of it. Mm -hmm. Come on around here, get some of this like this. Let's take the same colors. And we'll come on, kind of come in over the nose like this, up underneath the nose. And 
Actually, his, his, are so strong. They are, and, yeah. but it's, his hair's looking better because now yeah, it's Yeah, because you're not thing. just looking at that, uh -huh. and that's exactly right. And you see, now I'm going to come back in with, now that I've established mm -hmm. where I want some of this stuff to be. I'm not going to be afraid to come in and put some of this really, really dark stuff in. And then, like right here, we're going to, I'm going to show a little bit of flesh tone, but I mean, that's all we've got really is that coming across there like that and a black area here. See, and it, in fact, it just all runs together. And I think that's all you need, see? And I'm going to come back over here and do the same thing over here. Mm -hmm. Now, see, I feel like I'm getting that talk. Uh, Mm -hmm. I love it. I know. I've been watching it. I'm really so awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you all. I need all the encouragement mm -hmm. I get on this Thursday night class because mm -hmm. most of the time some the people here are nice, but mm -hmm. but sometimes I need a little support, so I appreciate you coming in. You never know when they and can start just, and, I, and I don't mean Sarah either. No. <laughs> well, it begins to narrow it down, doesn't it? <laughs> I know, really. Yeah. Right. And everybody knows Sweet Debbie would never do anything. No, I would right. never do yeah. anything. Yeah. just barrels yeah. of encouragement. <laughs> now you see, I thought this was strong enough over here. And that's that's what I love about this, because it gives you that yeah, opportunity yeah. to come back now and play with this stuff. And then if it needs to be stronger, just do it and don't let the lines. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'll maybe hit a little bit here. Okay, and then like over the top of this, this is not real white on the top, so we're just going to kind of fade that a little. Let that little I like that one little white highlight area. I do okay, and then let's take the brown and a little bit of the, I'll put red in it, but that's all right, a little bit of the black. Let's take the brown and the black. That's close enough. And then, see, you, you want to just grab that, see, not a lot of, not a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Just enough, hey, that's an eyebrow. And then we're going to come around like this, and again, who knows? Who, who's going to tell you what it should be or shouldn't be? Oh. And then it's going to come down like this, and we're going to go ahead right around the tip of that. And I'm just going to bring a little bit of this out just to define that nose a little bit more without really doing too much to it. And uh, now we got uh, we got a, an area under here that we want to put a little bit of middle tone coming down to the beard. And it, it makes a certain shape. And then we're just going to take this and soften all that. Now, what I like to be able to do on this is to come in and do that, and then let's get our strong, strong dark now. Let's get the black and the burnt sienna. A little bit of blue. we got time to do this one and one more. You got it, man. Okay, now, now look at how that, sh I, I tell you what, that shadow under that nose is one of the most def defining characteristics of doing a person's portrait for whatever it's worth. You get that shadow in there, you know, distinct, that's where you're always going to have a real, real strong uh, definition. And, uh, okay. Because that really defines the shape of his nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Makes and nice. also, it's just, I don't know, uh, Deborah, it's like a characteristic of a person is, is definable a lot more in, in a way like that. Okay, now, we got the ear. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Uh -oh, I, really, oh, I really went a lot further over mm -hmm. with the back of the hair than I should have, but who's counting? So we're going to come on now. We're going to start connecting all of this together. See, I don't mind letting, leaving the harsh lines. Mm -hmm. Kind of, you know, look at how that starts settling that mm -hmm. down. Uh, and I'm, I'm really still, I'm just looking at it all abstractly. I don't really care. See, I notice there's a little more red in that part. So we're going to start. But what's really crucial now is to not be as scared to come in and start hitting these really, really strong shadows. Mm. See, I know this is going to dry rather lightly. Pick a little bit more up up here. But that's that's what I want for my next phase. See, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to build it out. Mm -hmm. See, I could have carried around up here. I might even put a little amazing. bit in here. Mm -hmm. I know. It is just okay, and then and then you come in now, mm -hmm. and it, if it's not too wet, I'm going to take my.
my black and my blue and my brown again. And then you really want to, this, and the connectivity is very important mm -hmm. in this area. See, because this is what starts giving it the lightness. In other words, you want to come down, that is a dark shadow, a very, very dark shadow coming down there. So you try to capture that as much as you can. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. that starts linking it together, see. Mm -hmm. And then now, while I'm doing this, I notice this, this may even be a shadow. I don't know what that's from, but it's pretty defined. It looks like Maybe it might even be glasses. from the glasses, yeah, Joe. That's right. See, so we'll we'll kind of this coming down here. It looks like to me it this is kind of acting like a magnifying glass. But, but see, glass. what's great is it doesn't really make any difference. No, it gives see, it See, now we're going to come out here, and we got this little texture, kind of where his some of his facial areas come around like that. So I'm going to kind of antique him a little bit. Mm. Mm. You don't need much antique. No, I know it. <laughs> Okay, I love to do that like that. Mm -hmm. Can't hardly hurt him. A couple extra wrinkles in Now, there. watch what happens when I kind of come in. Uh, he's kind of, like you always see, you always see that reddish brown around the beard, particularly on the bottom lip. I mean, the bottom part of the hair, they're always dripping mm -hmm. a lot of something yeah. out there. <laughs> spaghetti, <laughs> spaghetti sauce. Make <laughs> sure it's not Gross. tobacco. <laughs> Gross. Okay, yeah, now, see, I got, look, at, look at some of that, or that pretty orange I got. I knew I was going to get to use this stuff. Mm -hmm. Is that just burnt sienna? Uh, I don't remember. I think that's burnt. No, I think it's burnt sienna and yellow. Mm -hmm. That's the, when you put the yellow in. If it's in. got a little green in it, it's had a cold. Mm -hmm. I do understand. Oh. <laughs> okay, now, we're going to get a lot more yellow here. It gets worse as the night goes on, mm -hmm. but in case you didn't know. <laughs> Well, I it's all that ice cream. That's what does it. She says she's had to take all she can stand. Now, now notice that on this nose, watch how I'm going to come in with a little middle tone. It's going to drop, drop, mm -hmm. bring all of that together like mm -hmm. that. See? Mm -hmm. and, I'm not, and I'm purposely, I like that white chiascura on it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't necessarily feel like I needed the really dark area back here. But uh, but I, I like... Larry, look at it. Mm -hmm. I think it's looking no, okay. Yeah. Oh, so y'all yeah. got to tell me now because mm -hmm. I don't really, yeah. you know, how I get on a roll with this stuff. Dramatically. Okay, isn't, it, isn't that amazing? It really well, is. Well, I think as it dries, it kind of blends. Well, it, it starts doing a lot of weird things. That's right. And I wanted a little well, bit more of that red and brown. Does weird things, mm -hmm. so. That I thought I That's needed. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Now, what you talking about that one shape in here, Joe? Mm -hmm. I feel like, see, you got mm -hmm. to pick that. Yeah. Try, I've been trying to really teach in my portraits, you draw people with shapes. Mm -hmm. Just get the shapes right. And, and that's right, place. the rest of it will fall into place. Mm -hmm. Now, let's take, I don't know what this is going to do when I do this, but I'm going to kind of come in here, and I'm going to just take that yellow just for the heck of it. Oh, he's got gold see? lines. Mm -hmm. they're, they're gold, that's right. And well, then, then you could put some gold rims. Yeah, and I'm going to, I don't know, you know, that doesn't mean that I'm going to just leave it like that, but I just want to see. Mm -hmm. And this has got almost pure white up here. Okay, and, it, and it, without having to give it any definition. And then let's just come back to the yellow again, except I'm going to put the yellow in a little bit of white. Okay, and we're going to come up like this. And I don't want to. I don't really want to emphasize these too much. But if, if if anything, I can do it, and then come back in and take it out later. Mm -hmm. Come on down like this. That's quite distinctive. Yeah, and, and like I said, if it doesn't, if it's too much, we'll we'll just loosen loosen up and lose some of it. Okay, now you see, like I'm going to put the yellow to define it. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to take maybe some brown or some whatever. I know that so all the areas are not going to be like that, so now you just come in and do your little stuff like mm -hmm. this. Now we know this has got an edge. I'll put that up against that nose. It'll work very nicely. Mm -hmm. Coming down up here, you, you get that lost and found in it mm -hmm. now, see? Mm -hmm. We'll come around like this, and then we got some of this that definitely needs to mm -hmm. come down. And that line goes all the way across, which I think works out real good. And then see, that's a shadow down there. So we'll just, and again, who cares? I mean, what, what difference does it make? 
what it is, you know. So that kind of defined that. Mm -hmm. And that's about all we really need on that side. Right. So it's gone. And uh, now, I do feel one thing that's really, really important, and uh, whether we don't really see it too much in this picture, but See, I think if you come in there and you pick that little bit of mm -hmm. highlight up mm -hmm. there and then maybe pick a little bit of it up here, see, without mm -hmm. overdoing it, mm -hmm. uh, that helps. And uh, now, what I want to try to do, I've got five, well, really, I've about ten minutes because that's five minutes fast. So I'm going to come back over here. Mm -hmm. I'd like to just get it done now in about this mm -hmm. part right here. And then next week, all we'd have left to do is the beard. Okay? So let's come in here. I'm going to just automatically come in and start doing this part darker. Up in here. And then maybe even have this a little bit darker. Because we don't really, we don't need a lot of definition on that ear. And then we're looking okay? Oh, I need yeah. some encouragement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, we like we thought we were giving lots of encouragement. No, no, we are enjoying it. I'm, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you too. Now, what, I'm doing an ear right now. So <laughs> what I love about this ear. part, mm -hmm. okay, now, you well, see, I really, I'm, see, th this hair, I, I think I came way out too far. I think, but who cares? I mean, y'all don't tell nobody I won't. Oh. Okay, now, I want to I want to kind of take this out and I'll show you why in a second because I, I kind of overshot the mark on some of it. All right, and you see, I'm just, I'm just going to, right now I know what, more than anything else, I need some solid, mm -hmm. really almost black, black mm -hmm. back here to get the effect that I want. And see, abstractly, it can run right on down. Mm -hmm. See, and so I'm going to just kind of get this in here like this. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and let's kind of fade it down. Mm -hmm. And then notice that we get some pretty dark areas here, and you can't be afraid of it. Now, watch what happens when I come back in with a little bit more definition. Now, the one thing that I'm really concerned about, let's see what I can do about it. I should have come up a little higher with this. You know, a lot of times when you're drawing with form like this, you don't. So, hey, we'll just do it. Like our back steakhouse, we got no rules. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, now look at, is that, is that, I think that's given a little mm -hmm. bit better definition. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. See, yeah. that, that's got the round of it now. Yeah. Okay, let's get a little bit of white with some of this grayish color. That fit the back part of your head. And one of the things that I noticed right off the bat is that he's got this one little area right here that I think is real important. You see, and now, you, now I'm going to start looking for individual areas like this. Now these are not quite as bright, but we got some more back here that we can pull off. We got, we got a little bit, if we want to, back here. See, and anything now just to give it a little bit of form back here will make some of these stand out a little bit lighter, a little bit more up here. And we want, in other words, we want to take it one step up out of the monotony of where it is. And then here, like we got this little cluster right here, so we're gonna just pop that sucker in there a little bit more. Again, we might need to tone it down. But now we'll start picking up whatever. I mean, nobody's gonna keep count. Mm -hmm. And that's probably too bright. I'll just settle. A little bit. I'll settle it down a little that, bit. That now here, I should have come down with the purple. And then that would give us a background and come back with those whiskers or whiskies or whatever you call them, whispers, <laughs> whatever mm -hmm. the ladies call them. Whisper. Um, he's starting to look like a composer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He really made a great composer. <laughs> he, he really has a kind of a uh, intelligent look. What's that? He's he was, the, you know, I'm going to tell you, strangely enough, he was really a, a this is a man that, that his stepfather back, I mean, a long, long time ago, his stepfather in New Orleans made him go to work and and kept all his money when he was about 14 years old. And he ran away and, and was on his own. 
and I, I don't want to. I want to be careful to tell. You know, when telling these stories, I tell about him because I know a lot about him, and, mm -hmm. and I don't want it to sound disrespectful because Gail and I both had so much respect for him. That's why I wanted to go over there and I met him, mm -hmm. and we we spent a, a good part of the day with him and visited with him, and uh, Gail took care of him pretty much until he died, and uh, and looked after him and everything. And, and this is a man that had a very hard life. He didn't have any education, and he survived. He made it. And he, and then towards the end of his life, he was extremely eccentric, and uh, and lived lived at, like a hermit. He didn't have any electricity, and uh, but he was, you know, he he was really a very fun. And if you ever sat down a little bit, I mean, talk about going back to where I went to school and see the mentality a lot like it was years ago. This guy was the product of the '50s, man. And, it, and it, all of his mentality, mm. and a lot of it not the good stuff. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think is. we just ought to leave it for now. Mm -hmm. I think that's all we need in yeah. the background. Mm -hmm. Now I'm satis more satisfied with that hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a that's kind of what it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get a couple more real quick things here. At three minutes. Yeah, It'll be ten o'clock exactly. You're okay. Right. Oh, you're right. Oh, you really can. <laughs> you all the week on Bright Bye. Hey Thank man, enjoyed it here. Thank you. Uh, we we ready to hit the hit that background. What y'all think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Good thing. Wait, one second, Joe. Okay. Don't don't run away when I got oh, two man. minutes left, man. You know. <laughs> no, I see. I feel like over here, I got too busy. That's what I love about doing this. And you just mm -hmm. see. I'm. You know why? I'm looking at the it shapes a, now. A shape, dark That's shape exactly right. right. And I want that shape. In other words, I'm not worried about. You get. You see. You start getting bogged down with detail. Yeah. And what you now look at this dark shape. That's right. right, exactly. And if you get the shape right, whatever you put down, good, bad, or whatever, it's going to link it all together. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to come back here and some of these areas where it doesn't really need to be showing up that much. We're going to kind of come in and soften that. Uh, that's soften really soft that up right a little bit. There. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. We all are very, very calm. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate that. And then we got this one section where. I just know enough of the anatomy of the face to know that as as I look at it, I'll pick things, go back, and I know that there's the muscle goes like that, and you got to pull that in a little bit. I think that really did help it. Mm -hmm. And you, but what, what's really so strange is he doesn't really have a lot of shadows like up under here. We'll tone that down a little bit. No. And uh, and look, he's got highlights here. His and eyes are not what all you of this call is really, deep set. No, they're really they're really very interesting. And see, that's just enough to get the definition on the eyes. See, in other words, I didn't show any definition on this side at all. Now, let me do one last thing, and I promise this will it will end it because I think you'll you'll begin to see it really do its thing. Okay, and I see here, we want that shadow to really come mm -hmm. like that. You got another shadow. Over that's here. exactly yeah. the one I wanted, Joe, yeah. because that's going to be the crucial. And and notice the connectivity with the shadow going over this. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then it comes down here. Mm -hmm. It kind of gets lost back in there. It just kind of goes all the way yeah, back right. in there. And then for some reason, there's some more little things coming out here like this. Okay. Mm. That's fabulous. Wow. Mm -hmm. Turn it around this way and let us see it. Yeah. 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 Shadow across his face. That's really Isn't that just amazing? Mm -hmm. Okay. He looks very interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does he really? Because I feel like I'm getting that, Sarah. Yeah. Thank you That's so much. Very thoughtful. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I really, we're going to go ahead and close this part off. All right, Casso, opening up the studio again on Thursday night. Finishing our painting of Mr. Perry on uh, uh, November the 16th, 2006. And uh, almost. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Okay, I had to have, I had to, have to, have to drink that after. I, I would have done it. All right. Now we're gonna come on down to the beard, and I want y'all to notice how I'm gonna. Now I notice um, that that after y'all left last week, 
I noticed a little more, a couple weeks ago, I noticed a little more brown in, in the color in here, mm -hmm. so I washed a little bit of that brown or burnt sienna over it, and I liked the way it warmed it up. It was a little bit cool, so I want to get a little bit more of that down here in this area, but notice how I'm going to come all the way down and do the beard, and then I'm going to basically block in the other, and then I'm going to take me a really dark shadow. I'm going to put that line coming down here, and then I'm going to have me another, I'm going to have all this in shadow going around this and then up under here. And I'm going to link the darks back here, under here, and across here and up here to make this really jump off. Yeah, all in 10 minutes. Oh. We got our 10 minute clock. Oh, yeah, we're we're right. Right. Man, we're yeah. Okay, good, good. Take a swig and wow. <laughs> here we go. Okay. We're going to rock and roll. Well, in view of what you said, you know, about linking, I've been thinking a lot about that and trying to do that. Tried to do that on that sky scene. You know, you you mm -hmm. can you can link all that across there. Sure can, and Joe. Whether it, whether it, you can explain what it is or not doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. As long as it's see clean. what it is 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 that it took me a long time. I knew this stuff. I can I could do it, but I couldn't teach it because I never fully understood that it's your darks actually that that really uh, it's it's your darks that link the whole composition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when you're putting darks, you, you can have all your darks and all, but not have them connected. Yeah. And and so when you can do it naturally, and see, I see this oh, that's, here. Yeah, that's all there. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah, and and what I like about it is I have almost a, it's almost a rectangular face, and then I'm going to come in with this shape kind of like a dumbbell, really, you know, or whatever. And uh, just an interesting abstract shape, and I'm going to really make all the attention mm -hmm. right here, all in 10 minutes. Okay, now we're going to start back here because I know this is going to be kind of dark and I'm, I'm going to let it do its thing, so let's bring it on down. All those compliments and I, I, all I got on this thing, I'm, 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 I'm a tough act to follow now, man. I'm nervous. I never thought of that much about it the first time. got your reputation. I'm telling you, man. Okay, now we're going to come in and we're just going to create a little whatever stuff here. And uh, now I want to make sure I get into a little bit more of that burnt sienna and, and even a little bit of that yellow. I picked up some of that up here. So let's just hit a little bit of it there. I'm one of those little sheets of paper up there, Joe, if you would. And, uh, and then I'm going to come in like here. And I'm really going to have to use a little bit of a lot of imagineering on this one, okay? But that's what I, that's the exciting thing, mm -hmm. you know. And, and then how much or what you do, and all of course is what's going to govern the success or failure of it at this point, okay? And so we're going to just kind of let it happen. And. Uh, now, see, I, I get up in there, and I don't know why I get these crazy ideas, but man, I, I just think a little bit of that red is just kind of pull that together nicely yes. in some of these areas here. Mm -hmm. And then maybe put a little bit of it in the shadow. See, that I got red's going to become his signature. Don't have to be crazy to do this, my man, but it helps. All right, now we're going to come on over here, and uh, we're going to go back in with that blue and brown. And the main thing I want to do down here now is I just want to leave a lot of, a lot of white areas. Uh, but before I do that, let's, let's do whatever. So I got to use a lot of fake metrics on that, on that, uh, on, on what that beard's supposed to be doing. I know there's a lot of white in, in these areas here. So I'm going to just imagine that that's going to carry itself all the way down. See, because what I want to do is I'm just trying to create a foundation that's going to allow me to come back when I put that dark shadow and just settle it all down, see. So we're going to come in here and just, just try to quit some, put some more of those little squigglies and wigglies. Rachel Ray and her 30-minute meals have nothing on us. That's right. <laughs> and I hate to be dumb, but who is Rachel Ray? I don't Rachel know Ray? either. You who don't know her. She knows. Oh, yeah. I have no idea. Do you see her with Giada? Every once in a while, when you really hit it right, you got to say, mm 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 mm, -mm. 
<laughs> I like I like Rachel already. Oh, yeah. you would like Rachel. That expression, yeah, okay. it's crazy good. Yeah. Like, oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> well, when is, when is she out? Uh, five well, she, and right now, five if you go in, in Books a Million or any of those bookstores, she has books on a whole section. She cooks what they call 30 minute meals, and she well, cooks some pretty good looking is. stuff. Oh, that Rachel Ray. Yeah, mean, Rachel Ray. Yeah. She, she says That's she okay. doesn't she have paint. mayonnaise in her refrigerator because it just it grosses her out or something. Yeah, she's <laughs> an olive oil queen. She said that's but she one can't thing you'll paint. never find in there. <laughs> she got everything else in there, and it's just yeah. in the right place. You never place find right what now? Mayonnaise. You never find it where? She said she doesn't have that oh. in her kitchen. Oh, you she never would find grosses it. Grosses it up her ass. Good Lord, man, growing up in New Orleans, if we didn't have my ass. Well, the funny <laughs> thing is her dad is from Louisiana. Yes, he is. He? How about that? So I don't know how she got away with that. Mm -hmm. I don't know, and she made some... She makes good stuff. We need to keep it off there, but uh, her That's jambalaya right. wasn't anything to brag about. Uh, did you try? Uh, no, I didn't try it, but I could tell what it was. I looked at it too. Uh, going, well, That's not jambalaya. Jambalaya. Now, she's pretty good. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, back to painting. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's kind of nice. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. I think that's really pretty. Look up there. Wow. Okay. Well, wow. It looks really good. Oh, that's man, but y'all just... Hey, I've gotten a lot of mileage out of this curmudgeon, haven't you? Mm -hmm. You better believe it. That's, uh... <laughs> I just I'm can't amazed. get over how great his hair is. Because there wasn't a lot to work with. That's, they, that's they hard. They made hair. more neat pictures out of that that's much of man. Okay. Yeah, that is, Joe. Mm -hmm. So we need a little red in that's it. That's how oh, she, yeah. she just described him. He just well, looked like a curmudgeon. The, the thing, the thing about about him, about him. I mean, he was the real deal. He was a genuine hermit. Okay. Is he and, passed and, on? Uh, to the yeah, great he did. Beyond he he just uh, And well, it, you know, I, I really believe Tom, as Tom's is really merciful. Uh huh. Okay, because uh, he was really. Uh, he, he was really living like in a house that was falling in, oh, and no, he had okay. electricity and just used electric heaters, but I don't know, I think he had running water. Wow. But it, it was to a point where, yeah. you know, it was yeah. something had to give, and rather than see him yeah. being put somewhere, uh, yeah, yeah, that, he that, he would, uh, where it would have been a tragedy, you know, because he just would have never mm -hmm. gone along with it. Blair, yeah. did he have a profession of any kind? Well, he worked for the state. Okay, really? Yeah. And, what uh, did he do? Uh, he worked for the highway department, hmm. and he was, you know, he, he was, what it was nice about it, if you grew up in Louisiana, he was a, kind of a, an icon from another generation. I mean, all the pre prejudices and all the, you know, all the, the attitudes, I mean, he was very verbal about all of it. And, you know, he's just refreshing in that he, he w didn't necessarily intend to be different or whatever what you, what you saw is what you got huh? right but I mean it just the necessity he, he, he was afraid that when his wife died that uh, he didn't know whether or not the title of the house was in his her name and so he just never did go pay taxes on it so he no and, and so he never got any utilities or anything like that because he he was afraid that he you know he'd draw attention to himself and poor guy was and he, you know, he didn't know about it. But, but the, the most interesting thing about him is that he he started life. Uh, for, and, and, and you have to live in my generation in a place like New Orleans to really understand this because so much of it went on. But he, uh, he he had his mother remarried and he was 12 or 13 years old and his father made him go to work and quit school. Wow. And then he had to he kept all the money that he made. And then he so. How's that looking? Oh, great. So he he just uh, he he wound up uh, leaving home, and then back then I mean you just there were places at every level from the like the the the, the Garden District. That's where you had the old money New Orleans people that uh, that were running out of money. And they, uh, so they, they would have rooms and you could get really nice places. I delivered newspapers to them. 
and I, and I knew a, a lot of the people, and you could get a nice room, like if you came from the country, okay, and you were looking to work and whatever, you would come to New Orleans, and you could rent and get room and board really cheap and, wow. and just to help pay for the cost of, of, of maybe a widow or something like that continuing to run the house, you see. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and so uh, he... Uh, he just, but then you could also do it in squalor, and that's what he had to do. And and uh, and he had a hard life, you know. And he he just not educated or anything like that, other than his self education. But that was more like my grandfather went to the fourth grade, I think, in third grade, and and then my uncle that wound up a lieutenant colonel in the in the army after the Second World War came on a colonel. And he went to he went to second grade on condition, okay. And 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 he just on the condition of what? On just con- <laughs> only on condition if he didn't get do maybe, better, they wasn't gonna let him s- yeah. stay there. And I mean that was just very oh, typical. Wow. And and so he Boy, he, he, was, he was really a kind of a coon ass mm-hmm. character from Thibodeau, and so he went into service at the Second World War, and he he was working at a place, and he asked his boss, he said. I'm thinking about going to be an officer, and he said, "Well, well Leo, he said you got to be, you got to be a, a, you got to have a college education if you're going to be an officer in the, in the military." He said, "I don't want to discourage anything." And he said, "Well, how many years are you supposed to go to school to get a college education?" Oh so my gosh. he told him, "He said you're supposed to have four years." So he, when he filled out his application. He said, well, four years is good, six years is better. So oh. he put six years of college. <laughs> oh, my God. And, and that was, I mean, and that was typical. I mean, that was what I grew up around. My, my, fa- my grandfather, without any education, managed two or three of the biggest hotels in New Orleans. Wow. And uh, so, you know, and it was just, so this guy really typified, even though he wasn't a whole lot older than I am, he typified that generation. Mm-hmm. Oh, isn't this something? Yes, it is. It is. Have you looked at the TV? Yeah, it looks really wonderful. Oh, man. Yeah, see, now that's, I'm trying to keep it alive. You are. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit more of this. I'm I'm just ready to put that last shadow. Because, see, I'm not worried about any Mm -hmm. of this stuff down here. Mm -hmm. No. I'm ready to put this last shadow. Now, see, this is what I love is when you can come in and start doing things like this while it's still Mm -hmm. wet. Mm -hmm. You know, and I might just do a little bit of this over here Mm -hmm. just for the heck of it. It's very, very dramatic. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And uh, all those whites are just. And I never will forget. Sparkle. He he was, I mean, he was just coon ass from the word go. He he always had gigantic old Cadillac, man. <laughs> Black man, he'd, uh-huh. he'd pull up in the front yard in that Cadillac, brother, and I tell you what, we'd just run out there like we was crazy because he always had a silver dollar for us. Oh, oh wow! And that was a new Duncan yo-yo, brother. <laughs> That's right. But yeah. I mean, he was a good man, and uh, he he really, uh, you know. But these people, they they were not dummies, you know. They, I mean, that was typical when you was that, you were just surviving back then. Mm-hmm. And uh, and like my my grandfather worked on, on all the paddle wheelers, like Mark Twain type stuff. He was born in 1896, and he gave me a. Uh, he used to sit down and tell me stories about the different. I I'd ask him before he died about the different vessels that he worked on and I made a list of them in some of the stories and I, and I did six paintings of all the boats that my grandfather had worked on and you remember Wright and Percy Insurance Agency? Mm-hmm. Well, Bill Wright's wife was taken and from it to time and man he said Larry I want them and he bought the whole set of them oh and they were up in that office until they probably went out of business I don't think they're still there but, but anyhow uh, My grandfather just working on a river like that, he could he made good money, man. He, you know, until they built the levee, and then the paddle wheelers went out after that. And uh, I mean, it's hard to believe you can live long enough to remember all, you know, to know have known people. Sybil's daddy, he was born the same. I just, I love the way it looks on TV. 
Thank you. Uh -huh. I see I'm letting it get a little bit dry, Sarah, before I come in and do my final stuff. Yeah, but, get it really dark. But I know one thing, I want this shadow up a little bit higher. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna just now, even though even though you can't explain it, uh, I want it in there. See? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. This was a shadow from mm -hmm. something, and uh, because what I want, and then what I, what I want to do up here, I want to start while I'm waiting for this to dry a little bit more. See, I'm gonna come back in. And I'm gonna take some of my white, and I'm gonna I'm gonna come in and do like I did at the top with mm -hmm. the darker stuff. There's some more whiskers. But I'm going to put, oh, see, that, that just going to absolutely do it to mm -hmm. it. It doesn't need much. I mean, it is, it is really striking. Thank you. Like it is. Can you see what I see that I really like? that I think is necessary and is going to add to it a lot is that this whole side of his face has got has got beard like this over here. Mm -hmm. In fact, we got, we're going to put a little bit of a little, oh, bit, good in yonder. A little bit up yeah, in here. Yeah. I want to overdo Something this now. Something when you now. look at it on the TV, it just looks... Now let me drop down to number two brush here. Well, I appreciate it. I need all the encouragement I can get about this time because Y'all know, everybody knows I'm very underconfident. So. <laughs> yeah, you need to work on that. I'm working on it, man. I'll tell you what, when I grow up, I'm going to get a lot more confident. Steve Painter, tell me. Mm -hmm. I'm to keep it from being too, I just don't want it to be too solid. Mm -hmm. Looks like a little cross hatching, didn't mm -hmm. it? Just a little bit of cross hatching and put a few little swirls in. So you can have some of them a little bit. Cross hatching brighter. swirlies. And you see, you can see that now this is a, to me a very critical part of it because I'm going to come across here now. And, and so I don't care if it runs together, I don't really care what it does. Now I'm going to start overlapping some of that over here now, you see? Because all I want is I want it to look, look at that. Now look at that softening that beard. I just wanted, wanted to go, because I'm going to make this an, a real emphasized area in a sense of just creating interest, mm -hmm. you see, and I, I think that just defines that over there so nicely. Now, see again, I'm, I'm kind of probably doing a little more than I need to be doing by coming in and putting, I'm going to get this a little darker, let's put some of that brown in. See, this will dry darker, but see, you get your little dry brush, you know, Andrew Wyeth mm -hmm. always talks about the dry brush in his paintings. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, he's got some wonderful things written about dry brush, and we don't mm -hmm. we don't stop long enough to really do the kind of things you know that you can see like this to me, where you where you, you just do it with a stroking thing, kind of like you do egg temper. See, yeah. that's why he does so well with the egg temper. You know, does in Jericho does a lot of that. Oh mm -hmm. uh, yeah, well you know, you know that that he and Bateman separately now they weren't close. You know they didn't know one another or anything. But they went to that Andrew Wyeth show in uh, 1966 in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And they were both very successful abstract painters. And both of them left there, and Bateman became the greatest wildlife painter in the world, mm -hmm. doing the most extreme realism. And then uh, the one who did Jericho, mm -hmm. you know what he did after mm -hmm. that. And of course, you can see the, the Wyeth influence, particularly in him. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize so, uh, that's yeah. what brought about the change. Sure did, because that was all happening right about the time I was starting my school, and, mm -hmm. and I remember it very vividly. So, uh, and you know, we've come a long way because, man, there, w there was no realism anywhere when I came here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, I mean, there were no books, whatever, other than the books that I, I introduced people to Kowski and all, they were still printed, and, and you know, a lot of people but it, but it was the, the winds were changing, and I think that history's proven, and will prove that if you give people an opportunity, uh, that they're going to choose r reality as <laughs> defined in realism. So that's why I knew this year Helen was a year of insp of, of uh, imagineering, okay. and I already got my new one for next year picked up. <laughs> new new name for the year. Yes, ma'am. 
Have re you revealed it? Re oh, yeah, no, I've been sharing it with it, a yeah. few discreet people. He'll be the first, the first to know. It's going to be reality with an edge. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh. That is powerful. Ooh, dog. You mean everybody. Everybody oh wonders God. about that. What? Yes, indeed. Just no, sign serious. me up. I'm already, yeah. I'm already, I'm already starting to... Uh, We're here. I'm already starting to prepare some stuff for lessons after the first of the year. And I mean, I'm going to, y'all going to see what I'm talking about. I mean, I, I and I, I really, it's just things I understand for the first time in a long time in terms of being able to teach it that I've been doing that I didn't know, even know what I was doing and why I was doing it, you know. And uh, now, see, I don't want, I don't, well, let's, let's just go ahead and do what I've been dying to do to begin with. Okay. Here it goes. Well, we're, we're going with that. Oh, man. It takes guts. I know, because it looks so good just as yeah. it is. Yeah. Oh, but that big but it, shadow, it's like... It ain't ooh. even begun to shine. Yet. Well, that, that's another thing Andrew Wyatt, uh, he quotes something from, from uh, I think from Homer, I'm not sure which, which Shakespearean thing it is, but, but he quotes this in a lot of his articles and books that, that uh, and with actors and actresses, uh, he just uses a quote that you want to push it to the edge, but you don't want to go over it too much, and you don't want to pull back. Mm -hmm. And it's finding that fine line. That fine line. That's where creativity yeah. is. But that's mm. intuitive. Mm. No, well, I think I think it is. That's right. But you got to cross that line where this just becomes paper, and your idea and what you're doing becomes reality more than the paper. Mm -hmm. So that. Like, like he says so many times, he'll do things, and uh, and he'll he'll just sketch something out, whatever, throw it on the floor, maybe throw it back there, never look at it again. But he said, whatever it is that inspired me to do it is going to be with me forever, and it'll come out whenever uh, it's time, you know, whenever that that period, it'll come out, and I guess when the voices talk to him. Oh, right? yeah. that's what it is. You know, because I tell you what, I've been talking to a lot of people about these. Been had some voices talking to I've been, well, My I've, voices need to speak up. Oh, <laughs> Wait a you too, you too high up in the, you're too high oh, up in the air. Too high in the air. <laughs> they need to speak up. <laughs> yeah, I've been, you know, I started kind of making fun of that, and I, Kitty would be there, and, I, and I'd, I'd, I'd say, can we, Kitty, I want to ask this lady something. I said, now, what do you think about Kitty hears voices telling her what to do and all that kind of stuff. And I mean, there was hardly a woman I've shared that story with her, and they said, I know what she's well, talking yeah, about. Exactly. Absolutely. You know, that's right. I don't, I don't know what I've been missing, but I'm open, yeah. man, you know. Yeah. Okay. Now, I may not go quite as dark. Now, I don't know why I went that purple. Now, see, I want, I'm following that. Right. It looks good. I want that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want that shadow. I say I'm going to make it solid, but I won't make it as dark as it goes away. Okay, and then I'm going to kind of soften a little bit up this yeah. edge like this. Mm -hmm. But I will come back and I'll take a little bit of the ultramarine blue and the burn umber. Like this, and I'm gonna make it. And I'm gonna put me a little bit of black in there because I mm. want. I really want this to be all kind of. Mm -hmm. You want to lose some of his hair? I want to lose it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, that's exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's what Sergeant mm -hmm. did so much of. That's what I was trying to tell you that tonight. Uh, related to that. That's my intuition. Okay. <laughs> he did so good. He did so good. He got a tip tonight. Oh man, look. Thank you. Anybody else? <laughs> Joe, go get me a cup or something like that. We can put it on. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's the paper. Tips appreciated. Thank you, here. Yeah. All right. All right, I think I'm going to hit the tree up. Well, listen, anytime, we're just thrilled to have you here. We sure are, Ellen. Sure Thank you. I'm glad you have been able to talk about it. Mm -hmm. I wonder how important. said made a call. The voices. <laughs> that's what she, she meant. She heard me. That's what she meant. I know. Everybody have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you, yeah, man. We got to go two whole weeks without this. Man, it's going to be hard on me, too. I know it is. Okay, partner. Okay, now. I want to get a red light. Happy Thanksgiving, troops. Hey, okay, Doc. Hey, have a good one.
We'll see you next no, next month. Okay. All right. Well, now it will be December, won't it, next time we come? Oh, sure will be. Just about. I'm yeah, not, that's right. I'm not ready for that. I'm not either. Okay, now, let's, let's just go ahead and I want to come here and... Uh, Just go ahead and bite the dust and do it. Okay, we'll go from here. Now notice we do have this. We can just circle it around like this. So I'm just going to kind of, and then we have this coming out here, going back here. And again, see, I'm not really, I don't really care. I, I'm going to make this. I just want the abstract pattern. I don't uh -huh. really care about all the details. That and, is really working. And then see, is it? Yeah, see, uh -huh. I appreciate it because really a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You see, now we're going to have that shadow under that collar there. That all this will be in shadow. Until you see the mm -hmm. TV. Mm -hmm. See, and then. It's and like then, standing back and looking. Uh -huh. Yeah, that TV is, is a wonderful it is. something to use. That is really good. You see, again, it doesn't really matter, whatever it is. Uh -huh. Okay, now we're going to. Really drop it down and see if I can come up. Now let's just—I'm just, just going to go across the whole bottom. See, because I don't really want too much, but the part that is going to make it or break it, I need to come down with that, and then I need to start coming up. Mm -hmm. Just go for it. And don't worry about it. Guy's been wanting me to do a oh. painting for him of Robert E. Lee. You know, and that. That, uh -huh. that same feel would be really nice. Well, think. thank you, Joe. I think it would be. You see, when it dries, all this other stuff's going to come through. Uh, you know, in other words, uh, it's going to look solid when you wet it because it's... But that's basically what I made up my mind I'm going to do, and I think that's one of the biggest things that's kind of happened in my personal painting is I just do it. You know, I don't blink anymore. And uh, they said, I'm going to clean yeah. that, yeah. soften that edge. Mm -hmm. That did it. That did it? Mm -hmm. And then so we're going to soften a little bit of this. And then I want to come back in down here. I'm going to get a little bit of that brownish color in here. See, and if you look at the picture closely, you'll you begin to see that little bit of reflected light. Maybe a little bit more blue in it. Wow. Coming all the way down here, you this see. This might it? be one of the best ones. Until you lose it. Uh, 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 you see, now how I'm, I'm just doing enough to resurrect. Is that showing up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where I'm putting that in a little bit lighter? Yeah. Wow. And then see, just for our purposes here, I might, uh, since mm -hmm. I'll just I think pull out a yeah, little bit more of it like this. Now it's that gonna, a lot of it's going to show up when it dries. Mm -hmm. Look at that on the TV. Mm -hmm. Oh man, yeah. Isn't that that I'll take that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now look under here. We got a little shadow coming down. Let's get it a little bit darker. I start picking on a couple of more little things. Now see, I left me an edge here, so I'm going to kind of lose that a little bit. And uh, you got a little bit of movement coming down here, and maybe a little bit down here. You know, just something, to, a little bit more to break it up. Now let's just see what happens if I blow dry it. Yes, right please now. blow dry it. I can't wait to see <laughs> it. <laughs> because that, that, that's going to transform it. And it's in this stage of drying. And I knew it was just a waste of time to try to go in and put the darks in. So I, I, the way I felt like they should be. So I'm going to come back in now. I'm going to get me a little bit of my blue and a little bit of my brown. Look, that's mostly brown. Let's get Can't be afraid to get a little messy, too. Oh, yeah. Now, see, I, I felt like I've lost some of the strategic darks that I want to have in here. So I'm going to just add a little bit more to it. Put a little bit of black in there, and then when you do it when it's when it's uh, when it's dry, you get a whole different effect. See, and uh, the, this I really want to be pretty solidly dark. And I, and I feel like I, you know, I didn't lose anything because it's pretty dark yeah. in the painting. Mm -hmm. 
but I want I want the definition. I want that dark to flow when this all dries. Like over here on this side, there's a I don't know whether that's his lapel or whatever, but. Come around with a little bit like this, and, and then maybe even inside of here, I'll just abstractly put a few more shapes, link some of this together. See, I'm, uh, that looks like there's enough definition in there for a shadow, huh? Because I want it to be a real dark shadow. Okay, and then we we'll just do a little bit more up here. Okay, 9.30. Hey, thank you. Look forward to it. Uh, okay, thank you all here. This is about it now. So. But you know what that did? It put the emphasis back on his face. Well, see, that's what I wanted. Uh-huh. That's but what I wanted. But you know that it's there, mm -hmm. but it's not attracting a lot of attention. Well, it linked it, it as well uh -huh. as uh, putting it in front of the dark. I'm going to just darken one area here, because I'm going to show you, I just, one thing I, I was trying to avoid, and I did it, but that's all right. <laughs> now, he could be a musician, or a mathematician, he could, yeah. or... You know, well, that's that's a war hero. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly right. Anything you want, your mm -hmm. imagination. Just that's the beautiful part about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now coming but down here. Very interesting. See, we got some of this in here, and I, I don't want to see now at this this part. Some of these little lighter areas are more important, but what I really want is kind of coming around here. Mm -hmm. I see that little area there. That's I want that yeah. to be softer. Mm -hmm. And uh, and see, I got the same situation in that I used a lot of color. That uh, you know tended to kind of fade out. So I'll take some a little bit more of these warmer colors now. This, this goes back to the keeping it the same value. See. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put just enough in there to look at that and see how that brought that alive. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, where that light was coming down. Nicely but not loosely. That's exactly right. <laughs> now, a lot of people have accused me of talking that verbally. <laughs> but look it up. There you go. It's a word. And I want that's going to define. So I wanted that to define those edges going around there. And then coming over here, this is the last thing because I, I really don't want. And, and see again, that's always the that's the question you got to ask yourself. You know, when do you stop? Mm -hmm. And I, I want some of this to be a little bit stronger, and then maybe have. See how I'm breaking up that edge while mm -hmm. I'm doing it. And then some of this is pretty white back up in here. And then, so it's it's enough to connect all of yeah. it. And uh, now, see how smooth it looks? Look, yeah. Do you think that's too much? Oh, yeah. it's fantastic. I think it's just perfect. I think we need to leave it. Mm -hmm. Excitement, excitement. And I, and I think it really does what I want it to do mm -hmm. right here. <coughs> you so, pull that off. Think so? And that was not easy. Thank you. Not easy. Well, it was one of the easiest things I ever did, you know. Well, it wouldn't have been easy if you hadn't known what to do. Uh, what it, well, if you'd what he was doing. If I had a lick of sense, maybe. <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. Yes. That is wonderful. Well, I appreciate y'all hanging yes, in there with That's me awesome. one more time, man. That's awesome. This it is awesome. Thank awesome. you. I love the white that. space that you left mm -hmm. around. I, th I think I, I like always... It looks like paint accidentally fell, just mm -hmm. like that. You know? The what now? I like that effect of like the paint just like falling. Thank you, Dave. Mm -hmm. That really, uh, mm -hmm. it, it's really something. Now, just one last thing. See, there's clusters in this that you want to keep because that, that this to me is a, is a very important thing. See, this shape is like a triangle. 
and you want it that's going to give you the roundness of the face now you see how this kind of comes like this mm -hmm. that's what I look for for whatever that's worth and then I might have another one here see that little triangle here and you'd be amazed at that how, how that helps you mm -hmm. to uh, and then if I feel like some of this could be toned down a little bit so you can all it starts looking when you use that white if it starts looking a little bit too much I can lightly tone it down Look at how that's softening all that. Yeah. Has Gail connected same thing? No. Yeah. No, Gail has been moving. Okay. Y'all think, uh, think that's it? Think that's mm -hmm. what I do? No, I, I think it's You know, you always got it. ask.